Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Today we've got an unboxing video that I think is going to be pretty exciting and, uh, and a boxing video. That makes it sound like I'm fighting. I'm, I'm not. We're not fighting anyone. All right, so great guitar build off. Finished up. Asked the guy who actually runs the shop where you see me do a lot of my video work uh, to design me a box to ship this thing out in. I wanted to make sure it was solid, no chance of any damage, and look good. Uh, so yeah, he thinks he's a comedian apparently. <laughs> Uh, so as soon as I saw this box, I wasn't going to video packaging up the guitar to ship it out, but as soon as I saw this box, I had to. <laughs> You're going to find this kind of funny. And, well, it's the box that I'm going to be shipping out guitars in now when I auction them off, whether it's for charity or when I start doing my own. Uh, yeah, that's probably what we're going to be using, unless people order a case. Anyway, that's going to be cool. We've also got an unboxing from Solo Guitars. Uh, this is some new polishing stuff. I'm excited to show it to you guys. We have had a couple requests for sand and polish videos. One of the main ones has been that sparkle, that nebula sparkle paint job I did where I actually threw uh, glitter onto the guitar while the paint was wet. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's an interesting technique. It gives you the ability to do some stuff you wouldn't be able to do just by spraying. So have a look at that if you want, but we're gonna test out some new polishing compounds on that because I've had a lot of people ask me, well, sand and polish it, uh, and it's my test guitar, so I didn't want to, but we're going to. So let's uh, do the boxing video real quick and then get this guy unboxed. Last thing before we do that, in case you haven't noticed, new t-shirts, Angle Guitars. This is the premium T. This is what a standard large looks like. We've also got the classic T and a few other options. If you guys are interested, Please feel free to pick one up. It does help the channel. I went through and adjusted some of the pricing below what they recommend because I think they're charging too much for a t-shirt. So uh, yeah, helps out the channel. Big thank you to the few people who have done that. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get moving on that boxing <laughs> and then the unboxing. All right, let me start here by saying that the box is actually really nice and I appreciate the guy making it for me. It protects the guitar very nicely. We've got a, a nice design with the actual shape of the guitar cut out of several layers of styrofoam. And we've got our nice kind of scratch proof uh, wrap here that we put around. So everything's well packaged and yeah, I appreciate it. But you can see, see the guy standing there watching me package this because he knows it's gonna be an ordeal. So I wanted to say thank you um, before I get angry reliving this. I get some foam underneath the neck, some soft acoustic foam, some soft acoustic foam over the strings and controls here. And then I put my top layer of foam on and this thing is packaged up real good. Nice guitar coffin here. Uh, and then the box. And you can see that there are a bunch of slots cut in the box and, and you're going to find out why. But there's also a really cool Angove Guitars logo there. Looks great. Nice and, uh, nice and shiny. It's a gold metallic logo. So I'm very happy with the look of this. I'm very happy with, with how it turned out. I was less happy about having to actually package it. Uh, and you'll see why shortly, if you haven't already noticed. There are matching slots, essentially, on the bottom of this thing. And you can see all of these straps running out from underneath. So I had to, well, take the lid back off. And here we go. Packing straps going through this thing. Yep, <laughs> from the top uh, and through the lid. And you'll see how these all connect. But this uh, this took a long time. Just the footage from this in its raw form was, uh, I think, over half an hour. And at a certain point, there's enough weaving going on here that I'm actually not sure if I would call this a shipping box or a shipping basket. It's ridiculous. It's definitely going to be sturdy. There's no doubt about that. That package isn't coming undone anytime soon. I mean, we could have just wrapped straps around the box. Uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate the extra effort, and it's worth it for uh, for charity and and for for this guitar because I love this guitar um, but still man <laughs> hey he's he's standing there he's standing there laughing me at me as I do this I swear he is ah <sighs> anyway uh, so once I get all of those in I have to go back and, and close the box again and it's a pretty snug fit so you know interesting but but not too bad this whole thing is sped up to 300 percent speed so that gives you an idea of what the time frame is here 
and then I'm I've got to tighten it all up. I got to strap it all together. So again, I'm I'm basically creating a box outside of the box with these packing straps. Uh, and yeah, somebody's gonna have to cut these all off. Brad, when you get this guitar, I uh, I hope you enjoy that portion. I, it will take you much less time than it did for me to put it together. So I cinch all these straps up, run them through this, uh, and then I gotta trim the excess off. And this secures the top and bottom together very, very thoroughly. Uh, and of course, all of those straps are just running through the outside of the box, so none of them go through the foam or anything like that. But there is no way this lid is coming off unless all of these are, are cut and, uh, and removed. So, to make a long day into hopefully a short story, I, uh, I finished strapping all of this up. Feel free to enjoy uh, <laughs> watching me gradually get more irritated as I do this. I'm, I'm laughing at the, the guy making fun of me here. And meanwhile, this uh, video with its original audio is is not appropriate for all audiences, so I'll just uh, leave it at that. We had to definitely do this by way of voiceover so that I could uh, post it without having to you know, put a mature content warning on it. And to switch back to a more optimistic note, I will say I'm uh, I'm happy with, with how it turned out. Even with the straps on, it looks pretty darn cool. And, you know, that added security, like I said, is worthwhile. I think... Uh, I will be shipping any future auction guitars in, in a similar box, although I expect that at some point we're going to make the switch to a less ridiculous strapping system and just make sure that it's it's wrapped up properly. So, <laughs> two to go here. We're almost done. And as I come up on the end of this, you may have seen the other guy just roll in with a roll of paper because I'm commenting on how I'm almost finished, and he goes... Well, aren't you going to wrap it? What do you mean, wrap it? What am I submitting a video application to work at Macy's over Christmas? I, I had no intention of wrapping this thing, uh, but it is a pretty box. So, uh, yeah, next up, after I finally get these all cinched and trimmed, we're going to wrap it. But first, let's take a look at it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a box that's worthy of a little bit of B-roll, which is something I... I don't often say about packaging materials, so once again, I'm uh, happy with how it looks. That reflective gold logo in the middle, can't beat that. Uh, and now I'm going to cover it up so that uh, it doesn't get damaged during shipping. The box. I don't want the, the box to get damaged. That's a... anyway. This part doesn't go so well for me. So if I was applying at Macy's for a job wrapping gifts over Christmas, I probably would not get the job. Uh, this is a large scale wrapping job and, and usually when I give people gifts I put them in bags and uh, you'll see why. But that's not really the point. It does get protected. Again, this is at 300% speed so this took me, let's just say, a while and isn't the tightest wrapping job ever, but it's well protected and that's the important part. Um, so this got shipped out. Again, congratulations to the winner. I can't wait to see you unbox it and let's move on to the unboxing part for us, which is something I'm much better at. This would be much easier if I had a table that I could put between myself and the camera. But oh well, here we are. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Micro Finishing Polish by Jeskar. So if you're not familiar with Jeskar, well they make great stuff for guitars. Predominantly frets is something they're really well known for. So I didn't know until very recently that they're now making polishing compounds and polishes and stuff like that. Correcting compound. Eliminates 15... Okay, so there's some interesting information on these bottles. But anyway, Jeskar makes great stuff. So I'm actually very excited to see how this stuff performs. So, correcting compound. Machine polishing compound developed... Blah, blah, blah. Elimination of 1,500 grit sanding marks at minimum. Okay. I assume that micro finishing polish is finer. Removal of haze, hologram, swirls, and light scratches, 3,000 grit sanding marks. So you would do this one after the correcting compound. Hope that made sense to everyone. If it didn't, let me know. You always finish off with the finest thing. Paint refresher. 
Professional Detail Spray. Removes dust, dirt, fingerprints, and contamination. This seems like mostly a cleaner. Okay, so this is probably something that you'd use. Like, it's guitar polish, not for paint polishing, but polish it up after. Would also work on furniture, I assume. I use furniture polishes on some of my guitars. Well, that explains that. All right, so some interesting stuff so far. I'm going to try those out on that guitar like we talked about. Let's see what else we've got here. Power Lock Plus Polymer Sealant. It's a big bottle too. Guarantees a deep wet look finish. All right, let's see. Maybe fatal if swallowed. Well, that's promising. Use soft foam or microfiber applicator to apply thin layer of sealant. Allow dry to haze. Uh, remove residue after half hour. So this is a finish of some description. It seems to be basically wax. So I'm guessing you put this on top of a finish. This is basically how you'd apply carnauba wax. I'm going to try that on something that's already got paint on it. Try it on a finish finished piece and see what I end up with. So we'll test that out. Well packaged. Ooh. Scratch and swirl remover. So I assume that this is going to be a lot like the micro finishing polish. We may have to do more of a compare between the two than anything else. Eliminates minor scratches and swirls on all guitar finishes, leaving a high gloss finish for work, uh, fast working and easy to use. Oh, so this is for touch up work. It seems, yeah, mostly for, for little touch-up work. Uh, the directions say to put a small quantity of the polish on a soft cloth. You use a circular motion like you normally would with polishing. So uh, just for repairing small scratches and stuff. You guys have seen me do something similar or at least show something similar with the Mohawk uh, buff and polish kit. This system is, of course, a little less expensive, but you need an abrasive. And then let's take a look at these. There are no directions on these. Let's see what these are. I remember ordering these and I remember them being something that I was very interested in. They're polish of some description, as is the case with most everything that I got here. Jessica Pace 16. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this stuff well, I told you, Jeskar makes great frets. And a lot of times when you're doing fret work, you want to finish it up with polish. So I got to do some tests on these, make sure I know which one's which. But I think these are going to be what I use for polishing frets from now on. There are a bunch of good options for doing that, but uh, yeah. I think this is probably going to be my go-to system if it performs the way that I anticipate it will. So I look forward to trying that out on video so you guys can see it. All right, guys, that's it for this one. If I got something wrong uh, on these or on the polymer sealant, I know what the rest does. But anyway, if I got something wrong about those, these or if you know something about them that I didn't say in this video, let me know. Drop a comment. Let the people watching the video know. I'm always happy to find out. I haven't had a full opportunity to look into all this stuff, test it out and research it yet. I just got it. So we'll cover that before, or I will get that done before I actually do the demos. But for now, if you've got the information, please share. It's happened before. I made at least one silly mistake in a, uh, in a polishing video previously. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And remember to subscribe so you can see me test all this stuff out. And I guess that's about it. Thanks again. Have a good one. See you next time.